Hello viewers. I am going to turn my controller on. And now we can start. Yes. I love how like you and I have been sitting here talking for a while and neither of us thought to do that in the meantime. I know. I'm really bad about remembering that sometimes. Father! Oh goodness gracious. Lily! You are alright! I was so scared. Ah, Miss Lily. Nothing is better than knowing you're safe. Ah, Lowen, you're right. Sister Lowen! You two idiots! What are you doing? You're a disgrace to Mount Lamp Dragon! I'm so sorry. Lord Smappy! Lord Smappy, you are all right. Lord Jess gathered the rest of Muse's soldiers and wiped out the zombies. Yay. Smappy, you defeated Necklord and freed Tinto. You knew it. Why? Why would you do that? For the money. I could say nothing, or I don't want to run away anymore. I see. Hauser, I lost a lot of soldiers due to my own poor judgment. Annabelle's last request was for Muse and the state to be saved. But I realized I can't handle that responsibility. I'm leaving my seat as acting mayor of Muse City. Under Muse law, the next acting mayor will be Fitcher. I hear that Fitcher is in the Waffle Army now. You can join the Waffle Army too. Lord Jess, what about you? I can't stay here. Lord Jess, let me say this to you as a friend who fought next to you. You should also fight again under the Waffle Army. Wait, fight again under the... Oh, never mind. Lord Smappy and you were aiming for the same goal. You shouldn't part company for such a silly reason. I don't want to fight together. Or, let's fight together. Lord Smappy. Let me ask just one thing. Think back. Lady Annabelle liked you a lot. She was happy that Genkaku's son showed up looking so brave. Are you sure you're not betraying her faith in you? I can't tell you that, or I'm not betraying anyone. Mm. I believed Annabelle, and until today have been fighting for Muse in the city-state. My anger at losing Lady Annabelle may have been turned at you. Really? May have been? Yeah, may have been. Now that Annabelle is gone, I have to live by my conscience. Lord Smappy, I'm sorry for any disrespect I may have shown. Will you let me fight with you? Lord Jess. Yay! We're finally done with this place! You didn't like the desert? This isn't the desert. This is mining, mountainy area. With desert in between. Does this mean this is a good time to recruit? Ooh. We haven't done that in a while. Yeah. Um... You'd think I would have planned this out before I started recording today. Nonsense. Plans of action are for people who plan. Oh, I know. Actually, let's just move on for now, because I think the problem is we have uh, Sierra and Khan, I think, forced into our party at the moment, so... Welcome back! Shu's waiting for you upstairs. I think he's come up with a plan. He's got that look on his face again. Convoy... Go see what shoes got planned. His shoes got a shoe. <laughs> He's got two shoes. Two shoes has shoe. <laughs> I received an off an official offer of assistance from Mayor Gustav of Tinto. The Tinto forces plus the remains of the Muse army that Jess organized gives us about seven thousand men. Lord Smappy. The Waffle Army has reached the point where it can compete with Highland on equal terms. Up until now, we've just been reacting to the Highland Army, but now we're going to make our own counter-strike. Huh? You mean we're going to attack from here? Yes, indeed. According to Apple's intelligence, the Highland Army is gathering a muse. 
We don't know what their aim is, but this is a this is as good a chance as any to take back Green Hill. Green Hill is currently under the command of a new general in the Highland Army, a man named Uber. Uber has appeared from nowhere to play a part in several major wars on this continent, and he disappears just as mysteriously. In fact, there are some that say he is not a man at all. What'll you do, Smabby? If we win here, I'll be able to get any girl I want! Oh, mine for the picking! Hey, maybe you could make me Vice General! Just the title would be fine, you know, so I could represent the Torn Republic! <laughs> okay, let's go to Green Hill, or... Okay, but no Vice General. Let me think about it. There is some danger involved, but we can't let this chance slip by either. Please. Lord Smappy, you may be tired. Please get some rest. No period. I heard you collapsed in Tinto. Remember your health must always come first. Collapsed a lot of times in Tinto, actually. Okay. Um, so let's talk to Ridley here. There we go. Lord Smappy, it's finally time for us to Counter-Strike, eh? And if you remember in the other uh, story, like the little plot divergence, Ridley actually died. So I'm actually going to pause it real quick. And we had another recording where we saw who replaced Ridley. So we're going to show you that next. Here you go. Okay. Okay, so now we're back on that track we did before where we ran away and Ridley died. And you'll notice that Ridley's not in the room. We have someone different. Um, are we gonna reroll this again, or we should just? Oh, we'll uh, let's we'll just keep going until we get up to his part. And then Sheena says, "Who's that? I've never seen him before." Lord Smappy, I'm Boris. When I heard that my father Ridley fell alongside you on the battlefield, I came right away. No, he needs more like a voice, like um, oh. Vincent's, like a mix between Ridley and Vincent. He's a cocker spaniel. He needs more class. He but I, oh, okay. My father's wish was to save Two River and the city state. As his son, I plan to fulfill that last wish. That's better. Glad I could oblige. <laughs> <laughs> Please let me join the Waffle Army and fight alongside you. Yay, Boris has joined us. Hmm, his father's last wish. That's really wonderful. Okay, and, and blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm not really interested in all this stuff. Uh, let me think about this. Okay, let's talk to Boris. Hey, Lord Smappy, I'll do my best to fill my father's shoes. I think he's cute. Um, as his cute little, uh, cocker spanielishness. Oh, I gotta say, I differ in opinion on this one. Really? Oh, yeah, I don't like him already. I just something about him I don't like. <laughs> Well, I'm okay. being serious here. Like, as soon as I saw him, I was like, I do not like. Okay, so normally most people don't get Boris because you have to kill off Ridley to get him. He just replaces him in the star. Like, he, they share the same star. So it doesn't really matter which one you have. Um, I just really like Ridley. And Boris is cute and all, but... Is it Cocker Spaniel? But, I don't know. I just, I hate killing off Ridley. So this is probably going to be one of the last times we see Boris. Um, I'm going to do his... his books for rich his little Richmond vacation investigation but I mean other than that I don't think we have anything else planned for Boris yeah so normally he would fill in for Ridley wherever Ridley shows up and he'd have yeah, some so other I think dialogue. he says pretty much the exact same things Ridley says he just he's Boris he's Boris so, Ridley, so um there you go there's Boris um uh, so yeah bye Boris <laughs> okay so now we're back with Ridley and now we're leaving Ridley behind. Yes, goodbye, Ridley. Let's do a little miniature recruiting run. And talk to Richmond, who I've actually been unable to talk to for quite a while. Yeah, because of where we keep saving the game. Yeah, we keep stopping in places where I can't leave to come talk to him. I think it's actually been a really long time. Where am I? Somewhere, oh my gosh. Okay. So yeah, eventually we will have a video where we go through all of these. Yeah, we're like gonna. Mr. Rancher. Yeah, we're gonna go through them all at the end, and uh, we're gonna have as many of these pages as possible because 
We actually have the pages for Boris we're going to splice in and the pages for other people that we'll splice in because it's impossible to get everybody in one save file. It's it's just not possible. So, But we're going to try our best to get every single person. Yeah, so it should be fun. I know. It's we need like theme music for these mini recruiting runs. <laughs> All right, like... let's see. We need... We don't need Sierra. Not a fan. We don't need Victor. We don't need Khan. I think we might actually need Nanami. Um. Well, of course we need Flick and Hicks. I mean, well, who else? I know. I'm trying to think if we actually need for the recruiting, though. We need... Wakaba. I see. You would know this a whole lot better than I would. I'm going to bring Tingar and Hicks just in case, because I'm pretty sure Tingar should work, but I'm not quite sure. Okay. So our first stop is Forest Village. Yes, I want to teleport to Forest Village. Wait, where are you going again? Forest Village! So, oh, okay, just making sure. The last time we were here, I was too nervous to go up to the north because um, I didn't want to start this event, but it's safe now. Um, the other, There's four animals total you can recruit. Only three of them are um, stars, and we already did another recording of the other two that I don't plan to keep for the main story. So now we can get the two I do want to keep. Ida! Get out of the way! Why are you trying to save this beast? Move! No! Your parents were killed by those beasts. Have you forgotten that? No, I, I haven't. Then why? I can't allow a weak, injured creature to be killed. If its wound heals, it'll come back and attack us. You cannot say that for certain, and if it does, then I will fight. It's a monster. Of course it'll attack. You cannot separate the world into people and monsters. Taking a life in battle may have meaning, but this is murder. Nobody listened to her. Kill the beast! Wait! Stop! No. Are you threatening us? Hey, look. What? It, it was just a little peep. Come on, kill it! Uh oh. There's something a lot more. Ah! It, it called his friends! No, they aren't this one's friends. I could say don't save them, but I really do, so let, let's save them. No, you can't have this one! Damn. We just, you know, nonchalantly walk up there. No, I don't want to do it. Man. Does she have one? Yeah, she does. Let's, let's do Earthquake. Oh, wait. Are they technically on the ground or not? They look like they're on the ground. They're not okay. hovering. Let's figure Let's find out. That is if we don't kill them all first. I was going to say. We could have actually done this event a while ago, but um, I was waiting for Tinto to the whole Tinto event to be over before doing this. So. The Tinto is where some of the other beasts are that you can recruit. Yeah. You. A listening crystal is shining. It's got like 50 different names. So if you don't use it, then you can't recruit them. But if you do use a listening crystal, then you have the option to recruit them. Uh, thank you, kind boy, kind girl. My name is Feather. I will lend you my power. Yay, we recruited Feather. It's going to be a really hard name to remember. To that, that voice was... I'm Ida. You are? 
You don't have to recruit Feather to get Ida, but I'm pretty sure you have to actually attempt to save Feather to get Ida. I see. The Waffle Army. So the war still continues. Smappy, I would join your cause. With you, I will put an end to this fighting. Even though this personal fight had nothing to do with the war. The reason I live as a guardian, my father's stole still soul still lives within me. Not his stole, hopefully. His stole. <laughs> hey, Feather, what's up? After I treat this one, I will follow you. Ida is probably one of my most, you know, favorite characters on the battlefield. I just love her unit. It can, like, just rip across the field. It's awesome. Okay. Um, I think now we need to go to Krom. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and go to Cobble Village. Looks like we're going to run a little bit long on this recording, but that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, I don't think uh, YouTube cares anymore, so. Oh. YouTube stopped caring a long time ago. Oh, yeah. Don't touch that. Yeah, I don't want to touch any of these treasure chests. Um, Until we get the cooking stuff handled, right? Yeah, that one recipe we're still missing. It's actually coming up very soon. And as soon as we get that recipe, then it'll be sa I'll, I'll feel a lot safer actually opening all these chests and turning in all the recipes and all that, so... Yeah, I mean, it's some of them are safe to get, but we don't want to have to bother I'm, looking them up. That lamb is also one of the danger spots, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, we're going to leave that lamb alone. We're going to come back for it. It's been a while since I looked up that type of stuff, so... Yeah, and the funny thing about that bug is, I thought I was pretty sure on how it worked, but when we looked, up, looked it up to confirm it, a lot of people said different things. I was like, well... I thought it was something totally different. And they're like, no, it has something to do with the lamb. And some people are like, no, it's one of the treasure chests. And some other people are like, no, it's all the recipes. And some people are like, it's just one of the recipes. And some people are like, it's the moon. And I was like, oh, come on, really? Does, does no one really know? It, it got a little bit ridiculous when they started mentioning Sephiroth. But... Yeah, we didn't really <laughs> believe it after a while. Okay. It's Did a tree. I... Oh, but this isn't crystal is shining. It's a tree beast. <laughs> Hold up the crystal. A tree it's an ent. Oh. Who was it that called me? Was it you, maiden? I did not know Wakaba actually counted as a maiden. <laughs> That's why you brought Tengar along. I brought Tengar and Nanami because I'm 100% I'm sure they actually both count as maidens. Wakaba, however, was not the one I expected. <laughs> <laughs> a maiden? Uh, okay, sure. In that case, in the name of the gods of the forest, I betroth myself to you. I want to see what she says to that. I'm not sure about that. What should I do, Smappy? <laughs> Just say no. Say no to unicorns. No, say yes. Are you sure? Okay, then. Let's do it. Very well. By my ancient oath as a member of the White Circle, I lend my power to you. Through the vessel of this holy maiden. My power, I grant it to you. Yay, we have Siegfried now. Oh, goodbye, Siegfried. Huh? He disappeared. Did, did he join us? I think you just married a unicorn. <laughs> that was totally unexpected. I know, because Nanami is all like, what? Huh? No! And Tin Guard's all like, yeah, whatever. I've already been through this. Uh, I, I, both of those responses are kind of funny. Wakaba's was unexpected, but kind of lame. She's just like, okay, whatever. It's not every day a unicorn wants to marry you, man. I mean. I remember my, my dad's a pastor, and so I remember when I was younger, um, he been, made some mention of marrying people. To unicorns? And. Uh, no, just marrying people. And he was oh. like, "Yeah, I have to go marry, you know, marry some people." And I, I remember having a conversation conversation with my mom later. I was like, "Mom, isn't he married to you? Why is he marrying other people?" I was so confused as a kid. I, I didn't get the language at all. That's awesome. Oh, I guess I could have just stopped the recording and finished the recruiting in the next video.
But then we would have missed the marriage joke. Yes, that was pretty awesome, I have to admit. Although... Not as awesome as it could have been. I can work on how I tell it. No, no, that's fine. I'm just trying to think of how many more people we actually have to recruit. I think it's only like two or three more. Kind of tempted to squish it in, but... Well, I can tell the joke again and we can just cut out that whole section there. <laughs> nah. <laughs> um, let's go to the end. Oh! Ah! Master! Master, guess what? I just married a unicorn! Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Makaba? You're not neglecting your training, are you? No, sir! Uh, uh, uh master? Hey, where did that jerk go? He can't just... He can't eat that much and just run away claiming he doesn't have any money. Oh, this sounds familiar. Let's find him. He's probably in the last place we're gonna look. I know where he is. I, for some reason, I thought I could get around the building the other way. Oh, master, master! Wakaba, I see your training has progressed. Yes, sir! As you said, master, I learned something new every day. By the way, master, just before you were... Well, the legs are the base of the body and the basis of unarmed combat. Strengthen them and you strengthen your base. Wow, that's great! Amazing! Of course! Huh? Be silent, Wakaba! <laughs> I have this angry dance. Master. Quiet your mind and body while you train, Wakaba. Who is that with you? Huh? Oh, that's right. I'll introduce you. The leader of the Waffle Army! He uses tone, f tone far. I thought it was tone fa. So did I. He uses tone far, <laughs> and his name is Smappy. He's really strong. Mm. No, my master, Smappy. Where does he keep those? <sighs> Even I, the great Long Chan Chan, could not get past your guard. You have found the worthy teacher, Wakaba. Who is this man? I just told you before. The leader of the Waffle Army, Lord Smappy. What? Did you say the Waffle Army? I just said it about a hundred times already. Oh, I see. Lord Smappy, Ong Chan Chan will lend you his strength until this is all over. Yay, he joined the group. Wakaba, where is the Waffle Army's castle? It's Fushigi Castle. You've already been there once. Oh, that that's right. Well, Rakawa, you would do well to learn from Lord Smappy. Perhaps he can teach you some of Genkaku's ways of fighting. I'm off to the castle. Okay? Yes, sir! But, Master, shouldn't you pay for your meal? Mm, well, yes, of course. I was just testing your memory. And I have suddenly turned into Necklord. Sorry, your accent was slipping into neck lords. Oh, my accent was slipping all over the place. <laughs> okay, well, in the next video, we'll finish our recruitment. I think we have, like, two more people, so... Until then, viewers, goodbye. Bye-bye.